Today for the Bitcoin price, a huge, a huge move is imminent for Bitcoin. And if you look at the title of this video, I really mean it here. In the charts, you can see Bitcoin developing here a new pattern and the breakout is literally imminent right now. I will be showing you exactly what direction of the breakout I am expecting for Bitcoin here in the immediate short term. Whether we are being rejected here and go down for Bitcoin or or whether Bitcoin is finally going to break out out of this brand new pattern, confirm the breakout and go all the way up to our bullish price target, I am going to be revealing in this video. I will show you my trade on Femex and my brand brand new trade on Bybit completely transparently where I am going to take profits and what I am expecting for Bitcoin right now. Also, I will be showing you my DeFi portfolio, all positions I am having there right now, my positions and also my plans for this DeFi portfolio. Guys, I just landed in Dubai. I am back here for you immediately with a new episode. Please sit down, scroll down, smash up the like button for this video right now. Thank you so much for your support. You know that every engagement, every like, every comment, every subscription helps our algorithm. It helps us. Thank you so much for that. You are truly the best and most supportive crypto family in the world. And with that being said, welcome to friends and welcome back to MM Crypto. My name is Chris and as always, we are really pumped to go straight into the content. All right, guys, and as always, we are starting here on the four hourly candles for the Bitcoin price. And as you remember, we covered here multiple times on our channel that once Bitcoin breaks this specific level here, that this 10,000 US dollars is our real bearish price target. And up to the exact dollar, we hit it exactly. But the question everyone is asking right now is obviously, are we going to fill the CME gap? Is the Bitcoin price going to break down and this breakdown continues? Or was this year the fulfilling of our bearish price target already the end for the Bitcoin retracement? And after this BART pattern, we are going to see another BART pattern evolving here in the charts. Well, I want to be talking about that I want to be showing you my new trade on Bybit. I opened up completely transparently with you here. I will show you my price targets, my game plan, and obviously also my DeFi portfolio right now in the immediate short term. Let's talk about that. First of all, you do remember that in the last solo video here before the two DaVinci J15 episodes, I was talking about this descending triangle evolving for Bitcoin. I was talking about that I actually think that Bitcoin will catch everyone by surprise and break out towards the upside. However, I was surprised with this breakout, to be honest, that it will that it is not volume supported. I told you that this breakout has to be volume supported. Otherwise, we cannot say with a high degree of certainty that the market is agreeing with it, this breakout and that we are actually going to fulfill our price target towards the upside. This was the bad news. However, here is the good news. With this breakout, um, actually look at this. With this breakout, we still have declining volume. So this is usually in technical analysis. It means, well, this was maybe not the pattern. Maybe we are in another pattern and the breakout is yet to come. So what are, what are we doing here as sophisticated investors, as sophisticated traders? We are spotting a new pattern, the actual pattern Bitcoin is in. And I think no one else is talking about this specific pattern right now, but we are doing it here on MM Crypto. If you do appreciate it, scroll down, smash up the like button for this video right now. I would really appreciate it. By the way, I was traveling from Thailand to Dubai. I just made the Da Vinci episode directly before my flight here. Now I arrived in Dubai and I am here once again with this video up to date. So please support us with this engagement on this video. You know, every engagement helps. Comment, like, subscribe, even a share is amazing and also appreciated. So first of all, you can see the volume is still declining with Bitcoin here maturing on the four hourly candles. And what we can see here is after this breakdown, and I will come to my specific trade later on. Wait for this. This is very interesting. You can see we got another rejection here approximately at the yeah, 10,500, 10,550-ish levels. Also, a previous high we actually drew here on the 4th or 5th of September. So first of all, this could point towards the possibility of, of us here having horizontal sub -air resistance. And also, very importantly, after this breakdown, you can see Bitcoin verifying here a rising and upward sloping support. So the interesting thing here right now is that this year, the dotted line, this was the pattern I was talking about previously, the descending triangle might be evolving here into an ascending triangle. And obviously, even though the Bitcoin price is going down, an ascending triangle in it of itself 
is a bullish uh, pattern. Of course, the likelihood of it the, um, breaking out towards the upside decreases here a little bit with the price going bearishly into it. However, this one here is a much more bullish price target because it's standing alone already has a higher likelihood to break towards the upside. We have these touch points. Bitcoin is bouncing in between here. We have the declining volume. The breakout is still to come and we have a significantly higher than 50% likelihood of Bitcoin here breaking towards the upside. What are we doing as sophisticated investors? Well, I am already in a trade, but I might open another trade here to trade the breakout. And just to show you what the breakout trade would be in case you would be breaking out towards the upside which is the likely likelier scenario here in this case we would pull this all the way up here no matter where we break out the breakout target would be the same since we have horizontal resistance and in case we would be breaking out maybe if you are trading on the four hourly candles trade the breakout confirmation here that would be in my opinion the safer game um, in this case I would be personally closing this trade or at least taking my profits from the table or my initial investment um, better to say from the table at 11,350 US dollars here on the four hourly candles conveniently enough this would be in perfect alignment with the previous support and resistance we have drawn here since July 2020 as you can see it if we were to zoom out we had multiple touch points um, being support and resistance also here the W as you can see another big trading traffic here over before the break down in the beginning of September so obviously that would be an amazing price, price target for every bear out there who wants to uh, trade the breakdown which is more unlikely in my opinion you could trade it all the way down here and as you can see here um, also funny enough for every gap believer out there if uh, Bitcoin were to break down which I think is the um, less likely scenario I would not be betting at this point of time on it but it is a possible scenario if you would be breaking it, uh, trading it towards the downside, it would be 9,500 US dollars just below the CME gap. Is it likely? I don't think so. Is it possible? For sure, guys, we are here in a downtrend, at least on the four hourly candles. So be prepared for this scenario to come, even though I think the scenario towards the upset is the more likely one. That would be the breakout trade. And also, guys, remember we had multiple touch points and we weren't explosively here down. So in case Bitcoin were to break out or break down, for example here to break out towards the upside this move would be explosive it would be of explosive nature considering that this volume is declining like crazy i mean the people are not interested at all in bitcoin right now everyone looking at DeFi, everyone looking at ethereum and the interest in bitcoin is declining significantly this points towards in my opinion, the fact that this breakout will be very significant, it will be volume supported, it will be explosive. So make sure you are prepared here when all eyes are not on Bitcoin anymore. This should be the moment your eyes should be on Bitcoin. This breakout would be latest, latest here towards the 19th, 20th of September, which is in five to six days within this week. Let's hope for um, a breakout within yeah, until Friday, so we don't have weekend price action here behind this pump. That would be amazing. Also, obviously, I will show you completely transparently here my trade on Femex and my trade on Bybit. The one of Bybit is completely new. It might surprise you a little bit, so I will be talking about that. And also, guys, I want to show you my DeFi portfolio, which might also, also catch you by surprise. If you consider what happened during the last one or two weeks, you will be surprised by this portfolio update. Wait for it, but now I want to be talking about my trade on Femex and the new trade on Bybit. This one is the one on Femex. If you were to go over here you can see it is in 22 23 thousand us dollars in a profit it is still the trade i opened up at 9400 us dollars and um, yeah as you know this is my long-term trade this is the trade i actually opened all the way down here i am confident in this entry and i'm holding it open even though many people are not agreeing with me I don't care about that. If I were to be wrong in the end, I don't care about it. This is a trader's life. But I think this um, this entry point was extremely, extremely strong. This is why I am so confident in this trade. If it turns against me, well, so be it. My trade on Bybit, though, um, it is a trade I took after one of the da, the da Vinci episodes. We talked about, as you remember, about this trading setup here with our long position at 10,130 uh, 10, US dollars. As you can see, when we are going 
coming over here to Bybit. You can see I opened this trade at 10,133 uh, 10, US dollars. It is a 14x leverage trade with a liquidation price. As you can see, just below here, our bearish price target, just below the CME gap. So obviously it is a very risky one considering here also the leverage it is right now 3200 us dollars in a profit 40 percent in a profit um yeah let me know if you appreciate this transparency smash up the like button to show me to give me that feedback you're on the right track we like the transparency please show us also your trades here in the future also for all the people who might be saying well chris you are only showing your profitable trades no you remember i also showed you my non-profitable trades and also i always show you my trading history so you can see that I am not hiding any trades. So look at this, as you can see here, this was my first trade. I announced it on, um, uh, it was the one here on Bybit. I announced it. I opened it at 11,400. When we broke down, I closed it at 11,400, which was a very good decision in hindsight, as you know. I opened a new one lower at 10,300. Well, we broke down. I closed it in a, um, in a break even at 11,290 11, once again. As you know, when we are breaking down, I always make sure I am stopped out here in a break even which is first of all very important for me um, especially if we are here on a downtrend I want to make sure that I am not getting liquidated and that's why all of these new trades were lower 11,400 next entry after break even 11,300 then my next entry was here at 11,133 and here you can see this is my new limit order in case we were to break down in case i would be wrong here 11130 uh, 10130 us dollars um stop loss here in a break even and the nice thing is it is below the breakdown point here i would be stopped out approximately over here once again in a break even position and of course you can feel very comfortable if you are opening a trade and you are um, being stopped out in a break even if the worst case is break even well this is very nice so let's see and see uh, let's wait and see here how this trade turns out to um, be going here in case we would be breaking out obviously i would be taking my pro uh, first profits right there also remember guys i want to be sharing with you my DeFi portfolio all my positions my profits my losses uh, completely transparently if you also want to trade on bybit femex make a trade here like me make sure you only do it if you're an experienced trader but if you are i have a free bonus for you 522 dollars to trade here also on bitcoin on leverage for free only if you are an experienced trader but if you scroll down to the pin comment you find this here 522 dollars for free after zero Point two respectively 0 0.5 bitcoin deposit on bybit femex and judex you can see it right there if you click these links you put in your email address and your password you can get after your initial deposit these bonuses completely for free you can trade here on bitcoin just as i am doing it also completely for free and the beauty about that is you can take only your mar margin only your bonus not touch your own money and also withdraw the profits from this free trade onto your account which is obviously a very nice thing but guys only if you're an experienced Experience trader remember you get these bonuses only if you scroll down and if you lose use our specific affiliate links here in the pin comment down below and also guys of course this is my DeFi portfolio as you can see it right here it is after 21 days only against us dollars 3.212 bitcoin in a profit considering the altcoin massacre we have seen obviously i am happy about that remember that i'm only investing a few percent here in my DeFi portfolio but you can see some people were laughing about me adding binance coin for a few days ago we made 50 percent profits if in a few days here on binance coin we made on the xdi chain 150 percent some other ones like amberforth didn't go so well so far but that's why we are building a portfolio so the total portfolio return can be very nice even though the market is breaking down even though many of the altcoins are breaking down so we have some like dmm governance a project which i actually think is at least a slightly legit one make your own research it can turn against us it can go to zero obviously but this one 64 percent down so i might be rebalancing here a little bit within the next few days um in favor of the ones which didn't do well and um, if you we were to go down here you can see the performance against the bitcoin is another story here 23 percent completely amazing guys uh, obviously considering that i had um chain link and tron here added before i set up this portfolio well guys 
let me know what you think about that let me know in the comment section down below if you want me to cover this um, DeFi portfolio updates in the future again Bitcoin is turning bullish here right now while I'm recording it so um, yeah I hope you're watching this video on time let's see how the Bitcoin price develops over time I just wanted to show you something else I am using CoinGecko most of the time not really coin market cap right now um, so if you were to do that you ha have a DeFi um, DeFi point here if you go there then you can see something very interesting for example for your finance this is symmetric I really like to use if you were to click on it you can see that the market cap right now is at 1.2 billion US dollars and the total value locked is only at 755 million so the ratio between the market cap and the value locked is uh, lower than one if you divide it here which is not a good thing if you compare your finance towards other DeFi projects I think this is a very very nice metric make sure you take it into consideration here when you are investing into DeFi projects I'm not saying don't invest into your own finance I'm just saying maybe you have better risk return ratios here um, elsewhere in the market if you were to go to defipost.com you can see here also that the total value locked in DeFi is significantly going up actually going parabolic here within the last two days please also take this into consideration we have a correlation between the total value locked and the valuation uh, valuations in DeFi but the causation is in my opinion going in two ways so when the prices are going down the total value locked is going down as well people are um, withdrawing their total value locked within these projects from the project as you can see here from the 2nd of my, uh, September so obviously the total value locked is not everything if the price goes down people are withdrawing their from funds from funds from these projects so please take this into consideration this can go much much higher but whenever the well, uh, bubble pops be prepared for the people withdrawing their funds here because their ha their hands as um, as investors in these projects are just as shaky as uh, their hands as yield farmers and so on please take that into consideration uh, for your future investments thank you so much for watching guys let's see what bitcoin does here let's see if we can get this uh, yeah amazing um, reverse bar pattern here it would be amazing let me know in the comment section down below what you think about that and obviously as always also smash up the like button for that video press subscribe press the bell press on all and also leave your thoughts in the comment section down below and share this video with your friends as you know every single engagement helps a lot thank you so much for watching guys and we will see each other very soon at the next one of mm crypto and as always guys as always click the subscription box right here and also click the bible tutorial if you haven't watched it already it is popping up right there and as always guys as always bye bye